this video we're going to be looking at the standard ankle and also some enhancements. Some key points while you're watching this video, please make sure you pay special attention to the order of the taping segments, the direction or the line of pull, and please refer to the grading rubric. That's going to help you with the taping application. And in the case of all taping applications, make sure that you follow the rules of taping. Before we start the angle tape job, I want you to practice the angular this is the most difficult part of the application. If we have mastery over this, the ankle tape job goes very smoothly and very quickly. The angular work includes the heel locks and the figure eights. First of all, the heel lock. We're going to go diagonally across the leg. We're going to hook the heel and, come and finish where we started. Once again, diagonally across the leg, hook the heel, and come back where you started. The figure eight, we start the sinus tarsi go around the foot, go around the leg. So now let's start with the ankle application. Once again, pay very close attention to the order, the number of strips, and the direction. So we're going to start this application by applying pre-wrap. Pre-wrap can be a little tricky until you get kind of a, a handle with how to work with it. You want to keep reasonable tension. You don't want to have too much pre-wrap out there. If it gets too loose, you just don't have very much luck with it. First step on the tape job is we're going to apply our anchors. We're going to start right below where the Achilles tendon and the gastric meets, about two fingers width. We're going to lay down three anchors, overlapping by half. Now we want to identify some key landmarks. That's the styloid process of fifth metatarsal, and this is the sinus tarsi. Those are key landmarks for where we're going to lay down some of the next taping strips. When we apply the distal anchor, we never want that forward of the styloid process. Notice here the tape went right over that X. That's perfectly okay. Now we're going to apply our stirrups. They always run from the medial side to the lateral side. Remembering how most ankles are sprained, so we want that line of pull to pull that foot into E version. We're going to lay down three of these strips. Now we're going to lock this. You notice we're coming basically where we finished with our anchors. And now we're going to go with our horseshoes. There's really no um, right or wrong way to put these on when it comes to the direction. We just want to start down at the base of the foot, down by the heel, and we're going to lay down three horseshoes. This is going to help develop our basic basket weave tape job. Now we start with our heel locks. We're going to alternate directions. So we're going to start on the lateral side there. The next strip is going to be medial. Remember it's across the leg, hook the heel and back where you started. We're going to lay down four heel locks. Now we will apply two figure eights. Here we're starting at the sinus tarsi, around the foot, and around the leg. We're going to lay down the second figure eight here, around the foot, around the leg. And now we have to finish this application by locking and covering the entire application. We're going to make it look nice. We don't want to put so much tape on here that it gets too thick or we create a lack of mobility. So basically you're just going to cover everything from the top down to the foot and call it sufficient. And here we see that finished tape application. Now we want to look at some applications that will enhance it. In other words, make the tape job stronger or even to address some other injuries that might exist in correlation with an ankle sprain. The first one we want to look at is duct tape. Yes, regular duct tape. Duct tape can be used for added strength, less bulk. Key here, when we put on the stirrup, it's in a neutral direction. And we only have to use one stirrup if we're using duct tape. We don't have to use the three. And then we simply want to lock it in place. And now in this tape job, we're ready for the horseshoes and our angular work. The Louisiana wrap is a combination of heel locks and figure eights. It's an advanced taping technique. You want to make sure you have mastered the basic technique before you try this because sometimes you can apply too much pressure. In this case, we're going to put it on with elastic tape. 
we start the sinus tarsi, do a figure eight, and then we turn it right into a heel lock. Added strength becomes an advanced method.